In this video I'm going to show you how the Samsung T7 performs for music and video production and how fast it is for file management. If you ever bought an Apple computer or you are looking at buying one, you already know that storage is really expensive. The good news is that most of us don't need to spend that amount of money. I'm a mixing engineer slash content creator and for that reason I need a lot of space to storage all my music libraries and video files. I've been using the Samsung T7 Touch with my Mac Mini M1 with 512 gigs of storage for the last few months and I couldn't be happier. Right out of the box it looks very Apple-like, it's really sleek with this aluminum housing, really tiny and his dimensions and weight makes it very easily portable. It comes with a USB-A and USB-C cable too. This is the touch version which adds an extra layer of security if you so desire by using the fingerprint scanner. Ok, but how fast it is, right? I'll be doing 3 speed tests, one with the Blackmagic app which you can download for free. In the second test I will copy a file to the SSD both via USB-C and USB-A and in the third one I'll show you a mixing session running where all the files are on the Samsung T7 instead of the computer and a video project where again all the files are on the Samsung T7. Let's do it! With the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test app, the write speed was at 335 megabytes per second and the read speed was at 321 megabytes per second. While running the same test through the USB-C, the write speed clocks at around 674 megabytes per second, while the read clocks at around 690 megabytes per second. In the next test, I copy a folder with around 15 gigs via USB-A. Well, 44 seconds. Then I copied the same folder but through USB-C and wow, so 22 seconds, which essentially is like the Blackmagic test suggested, so it's double the speed when you use it through USB-C. Then I did the same test through USB-C but this time with a folder with 77 gigs and it took 10 minutes 36 seconds. And I didn't do the same test through USB-A because it's probably a lot of time. In the next test I run a mixing session in Logic Pro, which is what I do pretty much every single day. And all the files from the session and the library from Logic are stored in the Samsung T7. And all I can say is that I don't even notice the difference between running this session this way or running the session with the files stored on the computer. So for mixing or writing music, producing music, I don't notice any difference. Ok, when it comes to video, uh, the program that I use is called ScreenFlow, so I'm not using Final Cut Pro. And the reason for that is because most of my videos are mixing tutorial videos. This program allows me to record, uh, well, not only to record the screen, but it also allows me to loop back the sound that comes from the digital audio workstation, like the Logic Pro. And not only for that, but also for editing, because it's much faster, it's a program that was made for this kind of videos, to record the screen and to make the edits really fast. With that said, this video project has all the images on the Samsung T7, all the videos from my camera are at 1080p and I don't notice any difference. Like any difference at all, so the experience and the performance is exactly the same whether the files are on the computer or on the Samsung SSD. In conclusion, what I have to say is that I'm really happy with this SSD drive and if I didn't know that I'm actually using one, I couldn't tell that I'm using one. For my work, everything runs really smoothly and to be honest, it's like I'm not even using one. Now, there's a lot of different SSD on the market, which I will be testing here too, but for now, what I can tell you is that this one has been working really well for my needs. And the price, you can buy it at Amazon for $89.99, I'll put the link in the description, which comes much cheaper than upgrading your SSD on your Apple computer. Now granted, the disk speed is not the same, and depending on the kind of work that you're doing on your computer, if you're doing something like I am doing here, trust me, it will work just fine. And that's it for this video, I'll see you soon, take care.